This video is sponsored by Timu. And in today's video, we are opening this giant package they sent me. I forgot what I ordered, so let's see what's in here. Scissors, thank you. All right, let's get started. Some of this stuff is Halloween related and I'm going to make uh, quite a few tutorials out of this stuff, but some of it's totally unrelated and some of the stuff is for tutorials, but not Halloween related. So this first one is an example. All right, let's open the zipper and like this. Let me open it because this cellophane is really loud. Now this is a big, silicone mold and what I'm doing with this is I'm making one of those uh, river tables uh, where you have like wood and then you have the resin down the middle so I have a bunch of resin that another company sent me and um, we'll uh, make something here so if you're interested in seeing me make like a this could be like a little uh, end table or it could be like a charcuterie board let me know in the comments below and I will video myself when I make this okay see this is well built yeah it has a uh, reinforcement it's not those thick ones they sell for way much more money but this will retain the shape because of the ribbing as you put the resin as it pulls out it'll stay pretty stable next oh and some of this stuff i got just for fun okay like i got this for the lake house not feed the Bigfoot very nice it's tin hang it on the wall good to go I don't know if it's outdoors rated or not but we can spray it with polyurethane and you're good to go next these two are inflatable eyeballs about that big and they are to put on the trees for the Halloween decorations so it looks like that tree is alive let me open one of these and show you so far the stuff is pretty well packaged, doesn't come in a box but that's the reason why you get to pay zero shipping which I see as a huge advantage uh, because that's where the prices really get competitive. If you were to calculate shipping from uh, overseas uh, you could be sure that the price wouldn't be worth it so they consolidate their goods and ship it all together and that's how you save on shipping, that's how they save on shipping and they can offer free shipping. Two of them, yes, but it's a pair of eyes. I shall not waste my breath, so I'm going to use my uh, trusty airbrush compressor. All right, so these will inflate and hang them from the tree so that the tree looks like it's alive or you can put it in front of your house to make like a monster house where the door is the mouth. Many things you can do with these. And I got two pairs, one pair of orange and one pair of green. I don't know what this is. It said something like yoga mask or something. I thought it was the creepiest thing ever. So I'm going to try it and see what it looks like. Oh, holy moly, this is not scary at all. That would make a great character in a haunted house, right? All right, should I finish the video like this? I love this thing. It appears to be made out of latex. Uh, 
slightly thicker than the, like on a glove and it has this gold sheen to it. You see it? I'm gonna find something really scary to do with this. And if I don't, I'll just put it on the Santa's faces when my wife decorates for Christmas, but I just won't let her know. These, okay, this is awesome. This is uh, for a tutorial for sure. So I'll be wanting to make a, a burlap mask to make it like as easy as possible, right? So this is one of those things that will make it easy. And it's a super cheap face mask. It comes in a two pack. And what we can do with this is uh, put it over your form. Do we have a form? Uh -huh. And then you can glue your pieces of burlap onto it. And then also that burlap won't be touching your face. Now it doesn't come with eyes, which is good because that way you can leave the eyes in the mask and you won't be able to see that there's a person behind. Instead, it'll look like a really spooky uh, burlap mask or whatever mask. It doesn't matter as long as it's a full face mask that you made out of fabric. This is perfect. Thank you. So you would take your your form, get it all spiffed up with the mask, orient it the way you want and start gluing or sculpting over it. You can even use foam to sculpt eyebrows, long nose, whatever you want, and then glue your burlap onto this. And this will stay a little bit flexible. Just to make sure you don't use one piece of burlap all the way around because then it won't stretch anymore. So at least leave a little gap in the back or little slits so that you can fit it over your head. Okay. Now these I don't know what to do with, but I really always wanted it. It's called EL, kind of like EL wire or, you know, electro or whatever. What's the name of it? EL. It's the wire that lights up, right? Comes like this, it has a battery pack. It looks like it takes two double A's. You have two double A's. And then you get your, uh, I don't remember how many feet. But they have different colors. I got the slightly purple and the blue. You can put like the outline on a mask with this so it glows. Or if you've seen those people that look like stick figures dancing in the dark, this is how you do it. You probably need more than one though. And if you're on my Instagram, Facebook, or email list, I'm going to send you like my best favorite finds from, from Timu for Halloween. Hold on, this thing is haunted. Turn it off. Appears to be like, let's see. That's about five foot uh, nine and shrinking, five foot ten and shrinking. Another, that's five foot five more. It's a uh, sixteen foot, four. seventeen foot four. Seven. And one, it's like 18, 20 feet, which is that is a ton of uh, of wire. So let's plug it and see what it does. Alexa, turn the studio lights off. Okay. Alexa, turn the studio lights on. Okay, if you'd like, I can help get your weekend started on the right foot with the weekend celebration routine every Friday. Would you like to enable this routine? Uh, no, thank you. Maybe later. Good. And I got blue too, right? So you don't want to see me untangle this and plug it. It's going to be the same as blue. And I'm going to use it in a bunch of our projects. That's cool for cosplay, for whatever, to make any part. Uh, glow has a battery pack so you can put that in your pocket and it's totally portable right next it's a long video this okay so this uh these are some discs uh for grinding wood and that's for the some of the woodwork that i've been doing like to sculpt and take off the bark off of a piece of like black walnut this helps also helps sculpt uh, now use these of course with caution uh, and you know something protecting your eyes and usually spinning not in the way that your eyes or your face is in line with the spinning but you do not put it in line with the spinning thing on the jig play like this because if this bursts it'll shoot everywhere but not right at your face I'm sure you're really encouraged to start woodworking now more stuff Ah yes, this is just dumb. It's a brick of uh, it's a brick of carpenter pencils. 
Oh, it's just pencils. Nothing fancy, but very useful. This is a, a bumper sticker. I'm going to put it in my car just for fun, just because I'm a oh, certified dumbass. And it says, How's my driving? So let's call it here on speakerphone and see what happens. All right, 248. 434 5508. Let's put it on speakerphone. So people can call and complain all they want about my driving. And they get rickrolled. This is, I don't know what this is, so let's check. 4.5 volts, so it's electric. Still, I think I totally love about Timu is that it takes a while for you to get the stuff, hence the free shipping. So you forget what you ordered. So when you open it again, it's like Christmas. So I forgot I ordered all this stuff. This is a spider, it's like a mini spider prop, but it comes with a fully lit spider web, which I'll show you later because it's big. Uh, and with a remote to change the colors. And you put your cute little spider wherever you want. Not gonna be too scary, but it'll be pretty cool and impressive for the price. It's a, it'll be a big prop. At least it'll cover one of your windows. That's pretty cool. I'll assemble it and I'll show a shot here, superimposed, so you can see what it looks like. Next. Dogs are wondering what the heck is going on with all this stuff falling on top of them. This I just cut because it was cool. This is a skull and uh, it's half human, half not, but it's little and I liked it. Uh, this could be cool to make a mold or put it out on my desk. I like it. I don't know what you would do with this. What would you do with this? It seems to be like a resin. It is in good shape. The skull side, pretty cool, good detail, like awesome detail actually. And then there's the zombie side, which is kind of like the muscles and vein structure of the human face, right? Pretty cool. Useless, but super cool. What is this? Oh man, this is for my wife. Okay, so <laughs> she loves that Dr. Pimple Popper, which I cannot stand. To me, that stuff is just not my, my cup of tea. She loves that stuff, right? And she'll pick anything she sees. So this is a nose, right? And you put these worms in the holes of the nose and it comes with a pincer. So you can practice being a Dr. Pimple Popper Buster all day long. So I'm gonna assemble this and show you a superimposed shot now. Yeah. One more. Ah yes, that's was something I really wanted to get because it's really expensive and I wanted to check the quality. This is a respirator and it comes with a filter insert and extra filters, which is something you'll need if you're gonna be following me doing some of the woodwork with the resins, so the burnt foam, you know, all the stuff that I tell you to wear some sort of protection for your breathing. The last thing, and it's kind of like this, just I get a lot of uh, leftover resin and before it cures, I pour them into Altoid tins. And then I like to put layers, but then I thought, you know what? How about we make a pocket uh, reflection pond, like a koi pond. So I got some koi stickers to put on the pond on top of the resin. And uh, it looks something like this. And that's it. What's your favorite thing? There is links for everything. Uh, down in the comments plus a huge coupon for you guys I think there's a hundred dollar coupon which allows you to buy a bunch of stuff right and uh, no shipping and all that good stuff and Timu thank you so much and I'll be making some projects with some of this stuff and I have some other stuff coming in for uh, for one of my awesome projects of this year so this is Monster Tutorials I'm Eduardo Talbert if you like this type of content or you like the tutorials or anything else just want to be entertained uh give it a thumbs up and subscribe so i can see you next time okay see ya and thank you patreons and thank you timo